This looks like a security fence. It's a wall. On this side, it's a wall separating the road from... Aida, El Khader, Bejala. Separating from uh, our, our... What was side. it like before the wall was built? What did they have? It was... You know, they'd throw stones on this road. They'd shoot. It goes all the way back. It protects civilians from uh, Bethlehem. The, the, uh, locals would throw rocks at the vehicles? Yeah, there was... Uh, that's why they had to build the tunnels in the mountains. Remember during the second... Was it the second Intifada or the first? I don't remember. Uh-huh. Is this Judea or Samaria? This is Judea. <coughs> Beautiful Judea. Gush Etzion. The heartland, the biblical heartland of the Jewish people. But because there are Arabs here, they don't like Jews driving on the highway? Now this this road is shared by both Arabs and Jews. Yeah. So you'll see like the yellow license plates here. Some and yellow, some white. Israeli, yeah, and the others are... And white? White is from the Palestinian Authority. Now this is a frat. You see these houses up here? Yeah. It's expanding, expanding. It's becoming one of the biggest Jewish communities in the, this area. Uh-huh. And who moves there? Lots of, you know, it's got a big Anglo population. Brits? Americans. Rabbi, Yanks. what's his name? Riskin. Shlomo Riskin. Yeah, he lives in Ifrat. I think he's shy he lives in Ifrat. So you'll see, this is North Ifrat. It's going to expand for about three, four miles. It's enormous. It's beautiful. But it's surrounded by Beit Jala. Surrounded, no, it's surrounded by different Arab, Arab towns and villages. Beit Jala, Beit Lechem, going towards this way, he Hebron and all the outskirts, those uh -huh. Does towns the of Hebron. Does the Ari Fultz family live in? Yeah, in the front. So the, the Jews would go shopping at that mall, even as nice as Efrat is, isn't entirely safe here. There's been several terror attacks in the world passing in, the, in that particular mall. There are soldiers, Israeli uh, army oh, soldiers and here. Run down, but there's been hit and runs. Attacks? Yeah, there's been stabbings, shootings. The kidnapping of the three Israeli teenagers happened at the place we're going to see. Now, why would they want to run over a, a perfect stranger? Because of the incitement that is rampant in their authority, because of the financial incentive to murder Jews. So when you put those two elements together, murdering Jews is profitable. It's proper? Prof profitable. Oh, profitable. It's an ideology and it's profitable. It's an ongoing war from their point of view. Thousands of years. A, a holy war, a crusade against... Against Judaism. This is Neve Daniel. Uh huh. Right, that's where. Uh, nice area. Yeah. And by the, the way, see, it's a Dech Avot Patriarch's Way. Uh huh. So this, we're like on the central mountain ridge that goes from north to throughout the country, north to south. Uh huh. So starting from Shechem in the north, Beit El, Shiloh, Jerusalem, like Bethlehem, this, like this Hebron, Beer Sheva. Yeah. Patriarch's Way. That's a nice name. Yeah, that's where you're going. Yeah, this is the this is the path that our forefathers used to move along. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Look, this is still a front. See how big it is. Oh. It's beautiful. Yeah. Look over here, Scott. Nice, huh? Nice. Nice buildings. Yeah. See that there's the Israeli flag flying. Where? Proud. Area C. Yeah. This area will never be given away. From your mouth to God's lips. Oh, no, I'm asking. Is. I'm asking. I don't know. I'm not a politician. In front, the sign says in Gush es Esion, East. Herodian. Yeah, what's in Herodian? Herodian is one of the ruins. 
Oh, it's amazing. It's like the, the winter palace of King Herod. Yeah. Where he like chopped off the top of a mountain, dug it out and made it his own palace. It's fantastic. We'll see it when we're going along. We call it the settlement, but... That's the wrong name. It's a wrong name. It's not accurate. It's Look, not... settlement, it, it's now so political, right? It's had such negative political connotation, connotations. Yeah. But I think we should call it the... It's not me. The communities, or what does it mean? It's from Nahala, inheritance. So you can't really say, here are the people who are called the inheritors of their land of their forefathers. It's a bit clumsy. But I think we should avoid using the word settlement because mm. it just has, mm. it's a pejorative and it shouldn't yeah. be. Okay. And don't forget in the Palestinian Authority and Hamas, in their narrative, everything from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea, which includes Tel Aviv, non-religious places, every, all, the, all the places are settlements. They're all colonized. They're all colonized. They don't have a right to be here. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, according to them. According to them, yeah. But according to the United Nations, uh, Israel, just, Israel... Hey, please don't spoil mine. Oh. You know, you know what I mean? The United well, Nations, no, but... No, but you know, they've changed in the last 70 years. Who has? The United Nations. Oh, all right, Kay. Where... Come on, put it, film all this. All right, this is a place Blow called... your window? It's called Arub. Arub? Arub. It's a so-called Liffey Poncha camera down there. That's yeah. three. It's a so-called refugee camp, all right, but you can see nothing's closed. People, all the traffic, they come in, they're going, nobody's keeping them there. Look at this, you see this for a refugee camp? Yeah. I wouldn't mind a house like that. Oh, right, but people right complain place. about the, it's, and there are complaints it's, about it's, Palestinians it's, living in refugee camps. It's the United Nations, it's a scam and a sham, I'm telling you, really. Because when you think of a refugee camp, you think yeah. of barbed wire and like Biafrans with a bowl of rice. Yeah. You know, it's got nothing to do with it. And the most important thing is that it is open. It's all open. It's open? Yeah. But can people come and go? Yeah, people come and go. Is this and one? This is Ala I mean, how can you be refugees three generations later on? Say again, please. How could you be considered a refugee three generations later on? Like because the refugees are already are, are all dead. The descendants are just not absorbed but, by but other the countries. Palest the Palestinians are the only group designated by the United Nations who have a special United Nations set up, mm -hmm. UNRWA, for refugees. It's like, and the, do you know, by the way, Really, there's 3,200 non-profits functioning in Judea, Samaria and Gaza. Or let's put it in political terms, in the West Bank and Gaza. Mm -hmm. 3,200. What are they doing? What are they doing? And look, if you notice some of the cars, some of the cars are really, really nice. They're nice. Beautiful. I mean, Posh. Look, look at this one. This is, you see? Yeah. And we see a lot bigger cars. I mean the ones with the, like there's one behind us, I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty good. Look, there's a half a million checker worth of a truck. There's you, commerce here, business. There's commerce. Uh, Affluence. It's a scam, it's a scam, I'm telling you. Look at some of the, the houses. Some of houses are absolutely very, very nice. And some are not, but the, go to any neighborhood, anywhere in the world, you're going to yeah. have weird houses, poor houses, the 